Charles Forrester was dead. My friend. My best friend. I thought we'd we'd start this journey and, and and end it together. But no. I lost her along the way. We lose everyone along the way. Bernice. Ross. They all go eventually. I didn't know what to make of it all. I, the doctor and I, we, we went back to the TARDIS and we did whatever it was that we got on, whatever it was that we did. But things weren't the same. You see, Ros's death, it, it, it casted a loom over us and and, and it brought on this vibe in the TARDIS that, that made us feel down constantly. I guess it's the memory of her not being there. The echo of Ross Forrester. And may she rest in peace. As time goes on, I, I still remember her. Fighting for what she believed in. That was Ros, strong-headed, passionate about what she believed in, fighter of justice. What a great person. She'll forever be remembered, will forever be treasured within my heart. Even after the TARDIS, I've never forgotten her. I tell my children the stories of Ros Forrester at night time before sending them to bed. I would tuck them into bed and they ask for a story. A story about Ross Forrester. So I tell them the stories of how he met the Doctor and, and how he fought the Daleks and saw Bernice get married and well, and a baby I saw who tried to steal a slice of her wedding cake. Good times. And you can forget. The instant with the Tylers. I won't forget her. The moment she took her last breath. I whispered to her. I will never forget you, Ross Forrester. And I meant that. She was important to me. She, she was like the link between me and the Doctor. Sometimes the Doctor went too far with his plans, but, but Ross was always there to calm me down when I needed it. And, well, I don't know what now, now that she's gone, I don't know what to do. Do I stay or do I go? Do I continue to see the, the seven wonders of the universe or do I give it all up because travelling with the Doctor? You never know which trip will be your last. Where you might die, what dangers you might face, what things will happen, what will change. Who will die? And what if you die? What then? What do you do? Because Ros died. But as I said, she died doing something she loved. Fighting for what is right. So I, I say this. As I, as I place a table in the TARDIS console room with some flowers and two candles and a sheet of paper that says in loving memory of Ros Forrester I sit by the table every week once a week 
light the candle and sit with her for five minutes. As I remember everything we did together. The evil we fought, the... The fun we had. I like to think that that the the memorial, it, it, that it's really her. And I tell her about what me and the doctor got up to and where we've been and what we've seen. I told her about my encounter with his friend, Perry Brown. I tell her about everything. Everything that she could have seen. Everything that she could have had. And then I read out the paper. The sheet of paper that I left there, that is. I always end it with In Loving Memory of Ros Forrester. Doctor Who Short Trips Destinies in Loving Memory, written by R.B. Wilson and performed by Ray Dunlap. Doctor Who Short Trips Destinies in Loving Memory is a Fallout Productions production.